Well, home prices are stabilizing, and many experts believe we're in a buyer's market. But for those who are trying to sell a home, it seems to be a different story. In today's real estate market, finding a home that is both affordable and in a good area can be incredibly difficult. If you're interested in home ownership or in selling your home, understanding the real estate market is key. Kendra Todd is a successful real estate agent and entrepreneur. She's an expert on how to maximize your home's value and how to achieve financial freedom in real estate and in life. Well, Kendra Todd also won season three of The Apprentice, and she's currently hosting HGTV's Home and Garden Television's My House is Worth What? And Kendra, it's good to have you back on the 700. Oh, thank you so much. It's a pleasure. <laughs> it's a pleasure. You are the top salesman, top real estate agent in the country. Am I, am I right in that? Well, I wouldn't go that far. That's but... too much. <laughs> okay, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to make you look you, good. You flatter me. Right. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, real estate's my, my core industry. And, um, you know, it's been really... Uh, quite eye-opening traveling around the country for my HGTV show uh -huh. and seeing what's going on in the real estate market in different areas of the country. And, you know, I hate to say it, but the name of my show is My House is Worth What? Yeah. And more often than not, the answer to that question right now is less. <laughs> yeah, so, and, so. And, by, and sellers don't believe that. They, they, they think that they paid a million dollars and therefore it must be worth a million or more, right? I, I really think that uh, sellers are starting to become a lot more realistic in, in their perspective yeah. uh, of what their home is actually worth. And, and also with, you know, foreclosure rates being as high as they are, are, mm -hmm. uh, you know, people are not, you know, able to just hold on to that pie in the sky number they want to get for their home. They're having to, you know, lower it mm -hmm. back to realistic prices. How about buyers? You'd think there are just huge amounts of deals out there at rock bottom prices. True or false? Uh, well, not rock bottom prices. There, uh -huh. there were there there were really incredible deals uh, about six to twelve months ago. Uh -huh. And in certain markets, you still can buy a property for below replacement cost in some of the harder hit areas like mm -hmm. Florida, California, Vegas, Arizona, yeah. because they have the highest foreclosure rates in the country. There are some great deals, but I think that. Um, what buyers are now realizing is that they cannot go out in most markets and just give a lowball offer and, and get a, an incredible steal of a deal. Mm. Uh, you know, prices are not as low as they, they used to be. The market is hitting a bottom in some areas, which is really yeah. nice. Yeah. Uh what about The Apprentice? You, you scored on that one and wound up decorating a million and a hundred and twenty-five million dollar house. What, what, what happened with you and the Donald? <laughs> well, well, first of all, I want to clarify to say I, uh, I didn't decorate, which didn't is a good thing because oh. you know I can make really crucial business decisions, but do not ask me to pick from five different paint colors. It really stresses me out. Oh, and yeah. I, <laughs> So, so you but, didn't decorate it. You know, I, I had the honor of overseeing the, the, the renovation and, and the marketing of this gorgeous home on the ocean on Palm Beach Island that did sell recently for just shy of $100 million. You sold the thing or oh, it sold? Somebody it, sold it. Yeah, yeah, it sold. And, um, yeah, we broke a record. It was the Ooh. highest uh, residential real estate sale in U.S. history for a short amount of time. Tell me what was in a house to make it worth $100 million. <laughs> <laughs> 475 feet of oceanfront. Oh, that helps. On Palm Beach Island. That helps. Yeah. Yeah, right, right pretty. <laughs> well, what are people looking for if they want to buy a house? What, I mean, the top end of these, uh, I, I read the Wall Street Journal on, uh, on Friday, and they've got all those real estate sections, and the, the prices don't look to me like they've come down very much. There's some really high-end properties still. <laughs> Well, you know, in the, it's, it's interesting that, that you mentioned the high-end segment of the market because uh, you know, the properties that are moving right now are those that are available and affordable to first-time home buyers. Oh, okay. Because of the first-time home buyer tax credit, that's, that's really helped the market a lot. Uh, the high end of the market is not really moving, but most of those people have a lot of discretionary income, and so they're not quite as motivated sure. to have to sell. And so they can just keep their homes listed at, you know, a, a high price. And if it sells, great. And if it doesn't, that's fine, too. Average viewer watching this show wants to know, what do I do to make my house have curb appeal? How do you sell them? 
Well, you know, right now, the most important question for a seller to really consider if they're putting their house on the market is where are the buyers coming from and how are they motivated? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, there's been a lot, lot of dialogue in the media recently that the first time home buyer tax credit and now the modified version of that that includes the move up buyers is really what's spurring the market. But uh, statistics show that it's the affordable prices more than that government legislation that's really caused, you know, this activity in the marketplace. Well, the seller, is there, are there little things they can do, though, to make that? That thing jump yes. at a buyer? What are they well, doing? One, of, one of the big things is that uh, there's a lot of vacant homes uh -huh. out there right now. Second homes, investment properties, people, you know, having to move to another location and stuck with a house they can't sell. And it's important to stage those properties, to clutter your home. Uh, if it is vacant, have furniture put in there and stage it properly mm -hmm. and pay a lot of extra attention to the exterior because curb appeal really is the most important thing when selling a home because that first impression, you only get one. Uh, so is that paint, plants, or something else? Yeah, you know, you can do really little things. I think right now people are really looking at their pocketbooks. So you can do something like paint the front door a bright color to make it stand out. Mm -hmm. You know, just two potted plants that, you know, frame the entrance way will make a big difference. A flower mm -hmm. trellis hanging mm -hmm. off of the windows. I, these are things that really get potential buyers excited. Do you give advice on these things to people? <laughs> <laughs> I give advice, but I don't have a green thumb. So <laughs> I'm not gonna come over and help you uh, help you plant those flowers. Well, I, I've got mine pretty much set. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's, um, well, what do you, where do you think that uh, uh, real estate's going in this country? Are, you, uh, are we going to come out of this thing from what you've seen across the country? Or is it going to still go down? Uh, we, it still is far, farther to fall, uh, uh, certainly, in, in mm -hmm. many areas of the country. Because even though the, the recession is ended mid-summer, uh, fl foreclosures are still on the rise. Uh, the numbers that came out recently showed that one in seven households in the United States yeah. with a mortgage is either in foreclosure or is behind on their payments. And the, the single largest factor that's driving the foreclosure rate right now is unemployment. Mm -hmm. It's no longer the subprime market. It's the fact that uh, um, unemployment is so high. Gee. So until unemployment, uh, you know, gets down, hopefully b below 10 percent, we're going to start to have a, you know, see a foreclosure problem continue. We're looking at a couple of years, maybe. It could take a little while. Yes, we're, but you know what? Uh, the real estate market is just in a down cycle. It's going to come back up. And just, you know, you just focus on your faith and focus on the Lord. And that's what's really important. Tell and me the, about you and the so, Lord. What happened? Well... The fact that I just love him so much is number one. He's yeah. like, uh, he just impacts everything that I do. And, uh, you know, recently I, I felt this tremendous calling to really empower and help out kingdom entrepreneurs, mm. uh, you, you know, to really focus on God at work. And I started a blog called uh, growrichgodsway.com, uh, <laughs> which I right. really encourage people to, to go to and share their stories about how the Lord has really answered their prayers and their finances mm -hmm. and in their businesses, mm -hmm. uh, because the marketplace is a crucial area for ministry. You know, sure. only 3% mm -hmm. of people are called to vocational uh, ministry, but yeah. what about the other 90% of us? And, uh, you know, it's an honored position to be in, to be able to um, have profitable businesses yeah. uh, that we can use to help fund the kingdom and glorify God. Well, I'm, I'm all for you. <laughs> well, Senator, you're terrific. God bless you. Thank, Thank you for you. being here. Well, if you want to know more about Kendra Todd, she's got a new website called Get Rich God's Way. <laughs> you can get a link on that uh, on CBN.com. And she also is the host of How Home and Garden or HGTV's My House is Worth What? Check your local listings for air date, and you can see more about Kendra. Thank you so much for being Thank here. You. Appreciate it. Okay, Christy, what do you got next? Uh,